Okay, we're joined here by SVSU cross country coach Jason Hartman and coach. Team recently competed in the Lucian Rosa Invitational this past weekend in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Could you just overview the performances by the teams? Women had a real solid second place finish, then the men came in in eighth. But we had some really good individual finishes for our teams. Yeah, for sure. Um, speaking as far as the men go, um, we've took we've taken a big step forward. As far as our development, we're relying heavily on young young kids, and um, they're starting to learn the process of what this is to be a, a college level athlete, and and um, and so they're improving, and we're, they're being much more competitive. As far as the women, they're a, they're a veteran team, and um, I think they made a big step forward from their last competition to this this current one. So um, I feel like both sides are heading in, in the right direction. Now, when you guys set up your schedule, um, you know, I'm not sure with you coming in a little later how much you had to do with this, but is it kind of strategically placed out where there's maybe a couple weeks in between some of the matches just for, you know, the recovery for the kids to optimize their performance for the late season? Yeah, sometimes with training you don't know where where you're at, and sometimes you might need some race situations to elevate fitness. So as far as the schedule goes, um, it was there prior to me getting here but it actually worked out well um based on how the kids are doing they're getting more experienced the young kids um even even on both sides so you know having those dates on the calendar are are good opportunities for these young kids to experience high level racing okay next event for our teams is the eastern michigan classic down in ypsilanti and what are you looking for out of your uh our student athletes you know as far as performance and preparation for the postseason I hope from top to bottom we can get a lot of personal records and and just sh- showcase our improvement. Um, you know, in, in for our program in the future, you know, we're taking small steps forward and you know trying to really elevate this program to a national class level. But at at the very, um, it it starts by taking good, you know steps forward and and that's kind of where we're at right now. All right, thanks, coach, and good luck next weekend. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, we're joined here by SVSU women's cross-country student-athlete Emily Short. And Emily, could you talk to us about the team's past meet over in Wisconsin that we finished second in? Sure. Um, we were pretty happy with the day. Uh, it was a 5K, and there were a lot of PRs all around. Um, we would have liked to have won because there were a couple conference schools that were pretty close to us. Uh, I believe Northern Michigan was right ahead of us. They have a good pack right now. Um, so obviously we would like to get ahead of them before GLEAX, our, top, our conference championships. But um, we couldn't be too disappointed with the performance that people had on that course since it is a very hilly and tough course, and so many people did so well. So Obviously you won first place in that meet. You are named the U.S. TFCCCA uh, National Runner of the Week. What did that mean to you, uh, you know, being bestowed with that honor? That was really a big honor. I've never been a USATF National Athlete of the Week, so that was really special. I was pretty excited when I found out about that, so it was neat. Excellent. And I was happy to represent the school. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the next meet coming up for you Friday at the Eastern Michigan Classic. What are you looking for out of the team in this big meet coming up for you? <clears throat> well, it's another 5K, um, so I'm just looking personally to run as fast as possible and get a new 5K PR for our cross-country course. Um, for the team, obviously, we'd like to be any GLIAC school um, who's going to be there. Uh, I think that maybe Wayne State might be there. I'm not sure. Uh, but if we can just get ahead of any GLIAC school and just run really strong and confidently and take that confidence into the conference championship, then I think we'll be set up for a really good conference championship. So. All right. Thanks a lot, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, we're joined here by SVSU men's cross-country student-athlete Joey Southgate. And, Joey, can you just talk about the team's past uh, run over in Wisconsin? You know, what do you think the team did well? How was the track uh, running for you guys over there? Uh, we did pretty well. The course is a lot slower than MSU, which we previously ran on. Uh, despite that, everyone PR'd by quite a bit. We had some strong uh, performances from our third through fifth runners. Uh, they stayed in a pretty good pack. Overall, we did. I feel we did pretty well compared to our last performance. Okay, what kind of what kind of things does the team work on during the week? I know a lot of your meets are spread out within a, a couple week increments. Uh, you know, what kind of training techniques do you guys 
use to maybe make sure you're prepared to maybe PR in the next meet as well? That's A lot of that's individual. It uh, depends on the person. Some people, myself, a little bit higher mileage. Some other guys, they're more, more track guys, so they're a lot shorter. They, uh, they, they keep less mileage. Overall, uh, just trying to do our interval workouts when we can and then recover for the next one, uh, get long runs in on, uh, on the weekends. That's about it. Okay, and the next meet coming up this Friday, Eastern Michigan Classic. What are you looking for out of the team uh, coming up in this meet for you guys? This meet is more, I believe we're treating this meet mostly as a workout. So hopefully, you know, we want to see some good times and just uh, try to build some confidence heading into the GLIAC meet. So it would be nice to see some guys get down into the into the 15s, hopefully, uh, just, just so they can get a little confidence going into GLIACs, which will go back to an 8K. Eastern is only a 5K for us. All right. Thanks a lot, Joey, and uh, good luck this weekend. Thank you.